276. This video will not be about a deep dive on all the specs. If that's what you're here for, I'll link some pretty sweet videos down in the description. This is a view into how I use it in the real world. And what I'm most excited about is to check out the compressors that are built in. This is how I hear it. This thing feels really premium. The body's made out of metal and the wood side panels are a nice touch. All of the buttons and the knobs feel super premium and they just have a really good weight to them. They definitely don't feel cheap. I also like how heavy the whole unit is. When it's on my desk and I'm plugging things into it or turning knobs, it doesn't move at all, it stays put. It connects to your computer via USB-C, which also gives a power. It also has a power button and I don't really use this. I leave mine on all the time, but apparently a lot of people like that there's a power button. So I actually use MIDI a lot with my external synthesizers. And so I'm really glad that they included a MIDI in and out port. For the main audio out, you have two quarter inch TRS, which is fine. Um, but I kind of wish that they included a second output, maybe an RCA in case you had a second pair of monitors or you wanted to monitor on a different system other than your, your main setup. This is a small detail, but I really like how when you press these little buttons, the interior lights up. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I do a lot of video calls throughout the day. And before I picked up this interface, I was considering buying an external preamp and an external compressor before I go into my uh, audio interface. But that seemed like a little bit too much just for video calls. And it was a little on the pricey end, really. So when UA announced the volts, I was pretty excited to see how well the compressors did in an, an all-in-one interface. It's pretty small um, and for a pretty good price point as well. Let's talk about what I consider the main features of this interface, the built-in 1176 style compressor. There are three compressor modes, and I say modes because the attack, release, and ratio settings are set by default. You don't have any control over those. All right, let's jump into some audio tests. Currently, I have the compressors set to off, and this is where the input gain is at. Uh, let me go ahead and jump to the vocal setting, which the vocal setting and the guitar setting both have uh, an attack time around three to six milliseconds. Uh, the release time on the vocal is about one to two seconds, depending on um, how much you feed into the compressor. Let's switch over to, to the guitar setting. And again, the attack times are similar here. The, the guitar has a little bit quicker of a release curve, but it's uh, still, you know, 700. Uh, to 700 milliseconds to about a second. All right, let me go over to the fast setting and fast has a near instant attack time of 0.5 milliseconds, which the 1176 is kind of famous for, um, and a much quicker release curve of about 100 to 200 milliseconds. Uh, so let me go back to off. Uh, this is with no uh, compressor on and with, with the compressors on, you get about six to seven decibels of gain. Um, so keep that in mind. So you, uh, the void, the, the level is actually probably just dropped uh, once I hit it off. So let me go back to vocal. This is the vocal compressor setting. And now we're going to guitar vocal setting. And let's go over to the fast vocal, um, sorry, the fast compressor set setting. So one of the things that um, I actually wish this thing, uh, that this interface had is a, a, a true limiter. Um, because if I'm on video calls, uh, you know, or using this for podcasting where I don't have control uh, over the recording. Um, I Things might get really loud. Either I'm laughing or having a good time uh, or there's some background noise. And so it'd be really great if this thing had a true limiter. Um, I don't think it, it's actually limiting, uh, but it's, it's getting pretty close. So let me actually uh, see. Let's try to uh, get some really loud vocals in here. See if uh, we can make it clip. Hey, this is gonna get real loud real quick and uh, vocal setting pretty loud. See, can we uh, make it real, real loud? 
and uh, guitar uh, guitar center this guitar compressor let's get real loud and fast uh, this is the fast can we make a clip I don't know can we so that was kind of interesting the audio coming out of the interface um, into my software um, it actually never clipped um, the highest it got was maybe negative 0.5 um, but some of the audio uh, when I was getting real loud there it actually sounded like it was clipping it was uh, it was kind of distorted there um, so that's something to keep in mind. You know, I think um, this thing might not be clipping, um, but the audio might sound like it is. Um, so and if you're using this for, you know, uh, video calls or something like that, um, just be very careful uh, not p uh, pushing the input too much into those compressors. So in general, I think this is an excellent audio interface. Um, for 300 bucks, it's a little on the higher end. Um, for this level of interface. I'm coming from a Motu M2, um, which I think is comparable. It, it kind of beats the 276 in a lot of specs, uh, in fact. Uh, and that thing is like 189. Um, the Focusrite is, I think, even cheaper than that. Uh, and it's kind of a, a similar interface, although it doesn't have MIDI. Um, so I think this is on the higher end of this class of interface. Um, but I think for an all-in-one package, uh, this is an excellent uh, interface. The only other gripe that I really have is that uh, since it's class compliant uh, in Mac OS, there's no driver uh, that's required. But that also means that the volume buttons on your keyboard don't work. So while I'm working, I like to be able to uh, not have to reach to the interface to, to do the volume. I like to be able to just hit the volume buttons uh, to have the volume go up or down. But in this case, that doesn't exist, um, at least yet. Maybe they'll re release a driver in the future. Um, but for now, I have to go to the interface, turn the volume up and down, um, which, you know, it takes me out of my workflow a little bit, but also I'm worried about um, kind of that, that volume pot over time wearing down. Um, and maybe at some point it won't be responsive or I'll have to re replace it if you even can. Um, but other than that, I think this is an excellent interface. If you made it this far and this video didn't totally suck, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing.